Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging, and today we are cutting some clown ball python eggs. So let's get started. Hey guys, so this is a, um, a clutch that I've been super, super excited for. This is actually from our Blade Clown female. She gave us seven really good eggs. One of them was uh, towards the top of the pile, so it's very shriveled, so I'm not sure if that baby is okay. There has always been veins, but it's a much smaller egg than the rest, so fingers crossed. We used two different dads, um, so I'm really not sure which one it's gonna be, but either way, it's gonna be super awesome, so we're gonna get started. So, I move my drink out of your way. This is our blade clown cut clutch. Um, because they were all so piled up, I actually did something different on each of them, you know, just as a little thing to do. That way I knew which side was up. Super, super excited. I only ever had one um, clutch of clowns, and that was last season. And that ended up being with our GHI Mojave het clown male. So that's how we got our boy Gil. So. This time I'm going to cut a little bit of a circle so we can actually see in there a little bit better. And I've got my little flashlight. Now oh, because it was clowns, cl both dads were clowns and the mom's a clown. Every baby's going to be a clown as well. So, on the belly, but just based on what I can see I'm gonna go with that's actually a pastel clown so looks like the dad is our pastel pinstripe Mojave clown which we have not gotten any babies from him so this is actually our first season with him we've got a lot more clown stuff that is growing up we've got some we have a blackhead cinnamon pastel clown. We have Gil, which is a GHM Mojave clown. We've got a whole bunch of clown stuff. We haven't really posted in videos or anything yet. We have a little banana clown male also. He's not ready this season, but. So actually, it looks like it's a dual sired clutch because that right there is a banana clown. It actually looks like a banana enchi, and the father would be a banana enchi clown. So, looks like we've got another dual sire clutch this season. Actually, a lot of our clutches have been dual sire clutches. We, the next video after this I'm filming, we've got some babies that have come out, the ones that we did in our last egg cutting video. Um, and, and one of them is actually from a dual sire clutch as well. Um, pretty much everything I'm going to be cutting right now is going to be available. Unless we somehow end up with a banana clown female, but the male is a pied maker. Or is a female maker. So it looks like a normal clown. Maybe a blade. Kind of looks like the mom. This is that really squished egg I was telling you about. I'm going to wait till the end to get that one. very excited that there is a uh, banana in here people are always asking me for banana stuff so but that banana enchi male we're going to be replacing in the next year or two with our female maker banana clown I had just mentioned he is doing fantastic I'll do a video with all of our younger snakes that we just haven't really shared or had time to post that is another banana so open up a little more So these are actually day 57. You see all these veins are not up on the egg. They're floating like this. That's a great way to know your eggs are about to be hatching. Also these were in a pile and I was e easily able to separate them. It's another way of knowing. That's another banana clown. This one looks like a normal banana clown. And this one looks like a banana enchi. The way the patterns almost kind of look a little bit spiderish when it comes to these guys. But perfect. Very happy with these. Three more to go. All 
Our next clutches after these, I believe are our GHI Mojave clutch, Purple Passion clutch, and I'm waiting on three more clutches. I think I'm going to have eggs very late this season. So that's definitely a blade clown. The mom is a very, very nice example, but that's a blade clown for sure, and it also looks like it might be pastel. Honestly, it might even be a Mojave clown. I have to wait on that one because that dad is a Mojave pastel pin, or one of the males is a Mojave pastel pinstripe, and the other one is that banana enchi. So this is either a very, very nice ban or clown blade, or it might actually be a Mojave clown blade. I never really got into the clowns until last season. I always, always stuck for pides. That was always my thing. And then I got one, and now I've got quite a few. So when you uh, use vermiculite instead of this right here is perlite, the white. I like the vermiculite, which is like this that's on there, the brown. The reason I like it is because it keeps the eggs nice and plump like this the whole time, and I feel like it's just better. But it's a lot easier when these eggs are more dry from this perlite. But overall, I definitely like vermiculite more. And either a banana blade clown or a banana enchi clown. We'll do a update on these guys when they all crawl out. So I'm not sure about this little one, but we will see. You never want to give up on one. I've had some of my best babies come out of eggs even worse than this. But only one way to find out. So unfortunately that one did not make it. It was much smaller. Once I actually examined it a little bit, I was going to show you guys, but it was very dirty, we'll say. Um, had a lot of kinks, was very, very small and underdeveloped, and it had a huge kink in its umbilical, so the umbilical cord you'll actually be able to see on babies. So they actually have a belly button when they're born, they have umbilical cords, and that, that one had it very tightly wrapped around its top half. So I'm guessing it kind of got stuck when it was moving around and cut off blood supply. My guess is it kind of got tangled up on its umbilical cord. Um, I did have one baby hatch before and it was wrapped halfway down the baby and the bottom half of the baby was really swollen, it looked very bad. We were able to cut it off and not hurt the baby and the baby ended up thriving which was fantastic but unfortunately this is part of breeding it's the worst part about breeding I'm actually happy he did not hatch because with the amount of kinks he or she would have had unfortunately it would have had to have been euthanized or culled is what they call it for when it comes to ball pythons just because it would not have been able to pass food it had some crazy right angle stuff like that but the rest of the clutch looks fantastic, looks amazing. We have quite a few different clown babies from this. Couldn't be happier. Wish that little one would have made it, but other than that, amazing clutch. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We make a few videos every single week. So I'll see you guys in the next video.